Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Got a gray, drizzly day going on here today. And it's been like this for the past couple of weeks, pretty much. But everything's up and running just fine, including myself. And I want to say a great big thanks to all of you who have been sending well wishes to me while I've been uh, getting over this COVID. Uh, today's the best day I've had in over two weeks, and I remember what my name is now, so <laughs> I feel like I can kind of get back to work here a little bit, or play. So in just a couple of days, we're coming up to the spring equinox, and that means the sun has been coming up now, for those of us in the northern hemisphere, uh, for three months. So uh, it's a good time to take stock in how you are get, getting through the winter on the size of your systems. You know, did you have enough battery capacity to keep everything up and running? You had enough panels? Uh, because the days, as they are getting longer now, uh, it should just keep getting better in general for most of us. And this is the time of year I always like to just take stock in uh, how did I get through the winter? Did I have enough sunshine? Did I have enough battery capacity? Did I have to rely on a generator at any point in time? Which in my case was no this year so far. I have not had to rely on any uh, generator for backup power. I've had enough solar even on days like today that are not ideal. Um, I'm doing absolutely just fine and I'll show you around on what I've got running and how it's been doing. So here I've got uh, the house separated into three different zones with, with uh, one, two, three, four, five actual different little systems that I've built. And I've got a zone on this side of the house. I've got a zone in the center of the house and a zone on this side of the house. So I'll take in and show you uh, what those look like. And for those of you that haven't seen these systems, uh, it might give you some ideas about how to use solar in your place. Now, of course, it could all be just one huge system, but uh, over the course of this uh, channel and showing you guys different things, I've built little systems to show you different ways of doing it. And I'm actually enjoying having uh, zones in the house and I'll explain further when I take you inside and show you why I like it like that and how it's been doing. So here I am on one side of the house and I have three different systems in here running and I've got a, a 48 volt system right here. And this for the past many, many months, I've had just running a full size refrigerator freezer this has 700 watts of solar tied into it, and it has been doing absolutely fine. Uh, and I will show you that freezer refrigerator. And this is a 20 cubic foot LG refrigerator freezer, very high, highly efficient, only draws about 50, 60 watts when it's running with temperatures in about the 70 degree range when it gets up to about 80 degrees. It might run at about 70 watts while it's running, super efficient. And that one 48 volt battery has been running this now pretty much nonstop for, for six months. I have not really had to uh, supplement the power on that system to run this. And I also have a 12 volt system. This has uh, 500 watts of solar tied into it and just one 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. All the batteries I use are lithium iron phosphate. And this is a 12 volt system. And this one is running a five cubic foot freezer only. Uh, maybe a couple of lights or something in this room as well, but the main thing that it's running is a freezer. And it's even on a day like today, I don't know if you can read that, but it's up to 85% and still charging. So uh, that's what it's been looking like lately doing just fantastic. And the last system I have on this side of the house and 
I'll call zone number one is a 24 volt system. And, uh, you know, I've experimented with 24 volt on this system and 48 volt on that system running the refrigerator. M most of my time off grid over the past 30 years, I've, I've done just fine on 12 volt. But anyway, like I said, over the course of demonstrating these batteries and showing you guys over the past few years, I've built different systems. Now this one here, I use just as a backup. And this thing, I haven't even had to deploy it. I mean, it's, it's charged, ready to go. You know, I've got <clears throat> all the components I've showed you guys running this system. And I just keep this one ready to go in case I run into some super, super dark days and that 12 volt system running the freezer needed to uh, take a break and charge up or that 48 volt system. But I just really haven't had to do that. Um, everything's running just fine. So this is just basically a spare ready to go if, if need be. And I could run anything in the house off of this as well and then let another system charge up if I needed to. And right here, for those of you that have been following me for a while know this is my original system. I've got a thousand watts of solar coming in here, 500 watts uh, for each charge controller. I can obviously add more solar if I need to, but I haven't had to, to do that. You can see these charge controllers are in their absorption phase. Uh, and I've got 600 amp hours worth of those Chins batteries tied together. These are the first lithium iron phosphate batteries I ever purchased. And they're just fantastic and working great. I need to come in here and wipe them down a little bit. But the system is so automated now that it, I just don't even have to hardly do anything but just glance at the fuel gauge, which right now it's up to 92%. And this is running everything in what I'll call the center zone of the house, which is just nothing of a heavy load anymore because uh, I've been running the, the appliances that have to run 24 seven on that other 12 volt system and the 48 volt system that I just showed you. So this in essence right now is, is really like another backup system. Although I do use this quite a bit throughout the day. Um, but it's, it's pretty much staying fully charged all the time. So uh, in my case, I've got an excess of power even on the uh, shorter days of the year. And for the past six months, as the sun has been at its lowest point, and especially the past three months, everything's just cruising right along. And I have not fired up that generator to even run that smart charger from Victron, which I love it, but it's not seen any use this, this year. And then this is another little 12 volt system with a 200 amp hour battery. And this is at the, the other end of the house. And this just runs everything in uh, this particular bedroom, uh, TV, lights, charging stations, for devices and whatnot. And this has 400 watts of solar tied into it. And, you know, it's it's just doing fine too. Uh, I've not run out of power in any of my zones one single time in the past three months. And I don't, haven't even had to switch out, you know, to, you know, some spare batteries that I've got laying around that are ready to go if need be. But I haven't had to do that uh, throughout the entire winter. And it's been kind of dark and rainy for the past few weeks. So um, I'm built really, really well for these systems. And there's that five cubic foot freezer. I've showed you guys all of these things before, but I kind of like to come back and show people that may not have seen these things before. So yeah, this is tied up just to that one 12 volt battery in that one zone. And, you know, it's very efficient as well. So, um, packed full of food, frozen solid, everything's doing good. These are the only two things that are absolutely running 24-7. Nothing else I really have to run 24-7, but for, you know, food storage and security, 
Uh, those things are always running, so I never want those off in any way. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six batteries, three different zones of the house. Uh, you know, I've got the redundancy here. Any of these inverters uh, can basically run anything in my house. So, I, you know, I've got backup for the backup for the backup. Uh, I really like that. I've always tried to have backup systems. So if anything ever did fail, but, you know, as I've gravitated over the years towards Victron and lithium iron phosphate, I'm just not having any problems. So yeah, three zones in the house, uh, six batteries, and in the shortest days of the year, I've done just fine. So this is the time of the year, like I said, I like to, you know, just reevaluate everything. Have I done okay during the shortest uh, daylight hours? at this hemisphere and doing just fine. So I've got my solar panels right where I need them. I've got my battery capacity right where I need for, for everything in the house. And I've not run out of power, not one single day, not even come close to it actually. And if I ever did, like I said, drain a system down, I've got another system ready to just plug something in right away and if it was super, super dark, I could give another battery a chance to catch back up. And then I could just recharge the backup battery. So uh, I've really enjoyed running it like this. You know, a lot of people have said, well, why don't you just build one big system? But a lot of this has been, you know, like I said, to show you guys how I build s smaller systems. And, you know, I get sent equipment to test out and share with you guys. So you know, a lot of it is just kind of a self-perpetuating thing that goes with the channel, you know. But now, if I was to do this all over again, and, you know, there wasn't a channel involved, um, would I just build one big system? No, I wouldn't. I would build a couple of, at least two or three systems, because I really like having, like I said, backups of every single piece of equipment. So if there was a failure... And, you know, I've been hit by lightning a couple of times in my uh, using solar over the past 30 years that took out a lot of components and left me, you know, temporarily without power or had to rely on a generator. So keeping those things in mind, I like to have the redundancy. I like to have extras of everything in case something fails. I don't miss a beat. And if I need to replace something, I've got time to do that, but I don't... Uh, lose any power. And the other thing that I'll say is that, um, see if I can remember. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't remember. <laughs> Aloha, you guys, you get the idea. I am feeling better, but I'd still get a little brain fog now and then, but yeah, thanks again, everybody for the well wishes. It's, it's, uh, Bungalowta, bungaloha time here coming pretty quick. I got a couple of uh, new things up there I want to show you guys, and I'm feeling up to it now. Okay, so I did remember after I got back in here uh, what I w wanted to say while I was out there trying to sign off. Um, and because I get this question asked quite a bit of me too, is like of all these various brands of batteries, is there one that really stands out to you and that you like better than the others? And I got to say no. I mean, they all work as they're sp supposed to. I've not had a problem with any of these batteries, and they all work great. So, you know, I can't even say like, oh, this one just completely outshines another one. Uh, every one of the brands that I've reviewed out here uh, is still just working absolutely perfectly and as it should. So uh, that's good. And the other thing that I was going to tell you guys is, you know, I don't really use uh, anything that draws a ton of power. You know, that refrigerator and freezer is just what is on 24-7. So those are my biggest power draws. Everything else, you know, uh, food processors, coffee makers and everything, they're used in such short time spans. You know, you make a pot of coffee. Yeah, it draws a lot of power, but it's just for a few minutes. So, you know, nothing is really sucking the power out of these systems 
too tremendously at any given time. The only thing that runs constantly, refrigerator and freezer, those are the main things. Always want those running. And, you know, I've got very efficient appliances. So, you know, I'm got a surplus of power, even in the winter time. And uh, that's a big, big game changer. So, okay, I'm glad I remembered. <laughs> okay, later, you guys.